Well, 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 good morning. It's been a minute since we've done a uh, video here. So uh, we got another product review, but it's not what you're thinking. Anybody in the business knows what's in this box. See you in a second. So a company called Olight, ba-bam, the PL Turbo Valkyrie. And what this is is a weapons mounted flashlight from one of the best flashlight companies that I have ever had the pleasure of working with. And I am not saying that because they sent this to the channel. I have been using their lights for a minute and they put a uh, post out said, Hey, who wants to uh, check out one of these lights? And we got selected. So I just happened to have some toys to put this on. So we're going to get this unboxed. We're going to compare it to the original Valkyrie that I have. And uh, we'll go along uh, some of the pros and cons with this but honestly I highly doubt there's any cons because uh, this company when I tell you is quality I really mean it and I wouldn't have reached out to them uh, had I not thought so but uh, just some quick stuff we have a max of uh, 800 lumens and a throw of 515 meters and believe me we will be trying that so let's get this on the operating table we'll take All a look right, at it. try to do this one-handed here <laughs> no we're not <laughs> hang on a minute Okay, so in the bag we get, uh, looks like a retention screw here or nut. Uh, you get your Allen wrench, your user manual, and then this is the light. And uh, first impressions, this is insanely more beefy than the original Valkyrie. I did not expect this light to um, be so, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? This thing has a commanding presence. Uh, you got your uh, lock and unlock for your Picatinny rails right here. Looks like there's... Some adjustments in there as well, but we're going to check out the directions and we'll give all that a good once over. But wow, this thing really, I mean, I've got a good size man hand and that thing is just enormous. In fact, for comparison, there's an S21 and there's the light for it. And for further comparison, this is the regular, well, I don't know if the regular is the right term, but this is the, uh, the Olight Valkyrie Mini two and you can blatantly see the sheer difference in size on this thing uh we're running this on the uh, canic meta meet me meta sfx this thing is a beast i love this gun and this trigger you'll never find anything smoother but that is going to be a, just an amazing adapter for this so let me break out a couple different uh, things here We'll get this mounted up to a couple different uh, pistols and a rifle, and we will see uh, what we think. So give me just a second to get all set up. Be right back. Okay, we are back. So we got a couple different platforms to show to you on. Unfortunately, it's not going to fit the 300 Blackout and Zombie because I don't have any Picatinny rails on the side. But this 300 Blackout sure does. There's a cool hardened arms, man. These guys took a lot of money from a lot of people and uh, then went bankrupt. Anyhow... Uh, so on the top of the light, there is this little guy right here, just flip up and it's hinged. So it only goes one way. And that is how you access your batteries. And our batteries are proprietary. La la la. So these are them right here. It's just a three volt, 1600 milliamp battery. Uh, and there you are, the CR123 Alpha. Uh, Olight carries all of these and they are generally always in stock. They do a phenomenal job of um, service after the sale and uh, they understand completely that without batteries, that doesn't work and we need this to work. So just in case you're like me, they show you which way is positive, which way is negative. So let's get it mounted up to the Canic and then we'll get our first uh, thoughts on that. And then I will show you guys what all of this is and yes, for those of us that have never played with a weapons light of this caliber, I always recommend the directions. Pictures on how to do it all, although all of this is all in like a bunch of different languages, there's all you need right there. The light is very simple. It has two modes, on, well, three, on, off, and strobe. So let's get it fixed up to the Canic TP9 SFX and we'll see what we think. Literally a few seconds later. So installation is very easy. Rotate this knob all the way to unlock. And what that's going to do, I'll just show you for example on this one. It opens up these pick rail grabbers right here. Slide it on right over the rail. And you know, it's beveled, so you're gonna have a good contact with it. Uh, tighten it up by finger. And then take your Allen wrench and just put a little on it. Don't over torque it. I mean, this is just plastic or a polymer, if you will. Uh, get it nice and snug and then there you go. So initial impressions. 
Um, the gun feels extremely balanced still. I mean, you do have some weight coming off the front, but this doesn't weigh anything. We'll throw it on the scale and see what this light actually weighs. But uh, yeah, it um, it's not horribly out past the barrel. Um, I will admit I do have uh, some concern about the um, uh, the muzzle blast. I, I don't know why people run their lights so far out, and I am butted up against the trigger guard here. So it um, sticks out farther than I would go. I run the other Valkyrie on my Hellcat, and it's sunk way back. But let me kill uh, these lights really fast here, and uh, let's shine up some stuff. Okay, we're in my daughter's room because it's the coldest room. Coldest, darkest. I have not turned this on. I have not charged it. Here's what you get out of the box. Ooh. That probably doesn't show up so great on camera. Yeah, that's hers. Ray's steers through high school. Um, I am highly impressed with how bright this gets. And then on the side here, if you push them both at the same time, you'll get that strobe effect. And that's a little hard to do with the camera in one hand and the light in the other. But uh, yeah, here she is on the front of my Hardened Arms 300 Blackout. And uh, you can see right to the edge of that pick rail. And again, just open up your uh, divider here, pop it on and then tighten it down, not too tight again. And uh, we are still actually back quite a ways from the uh, end of the barrel here. And the way that I shoot, obviously one hand up on the front. I am one of those shooters, I keep my hand way out here. Uh, I know some people pull their hand up here onto the mag. Well, occasionally I do that, but I'm pretty much out here. And boom, my hand grabs it with no problem. And then if you squeeze top and bottom, then you can get your strobe effect. And then any which way turns it back off. But uh, that's a pretty, pretty stout mount just before the muzzle brake on that. And I am extremely happy with the way that it mounts and uh, sits on there. It feels really good holding the rifle with it too. Like I said, just because I'm up here, it's a little weird having your hand away from the handguard, but this is extraordinarily stable. So keeping my hand up here around it uh, doesn't affect So yeah, color me impressed so far. Um, I don't notice a big difference in weight between this and the original Valkyrie Mini. Obviously there is because this one is bigger, uh, but they really took a lot of time and energy into making sure that this was a very functional light. And speaking of functional light, I have to work tonight, which is not far from the shooting range. So I think we're gonna leave a little bit early. Uh, we'll put some rounds through this and uh, we'll see how well it does with the light on there. I'm, I have no doubts it's probably gonna be fine. They put a lot of testing and a lot of R&D into these before they just ship them right out. But uh, I, uh, I do have con some concerns about the muzzle blast. Now, granted, it's just a nine millimeter, uh, but hitting that light over and over and over. But, you know, you read the forms and there's guys have been doing this with shotguns and 300 blackouts, 6.8 PRC with no problem. So we will uh, see what that looks like tonight. At my office, there's also a huge, uh, we call it the dungeon. It's, uh, it's dark. It's like going into a well. You can't see anything. We'll light that up too. So uh, next time you see this, we'll be out at the range. And uh, yeah, so far the PL Turbo is an exceptional light. Just a real quick point of reference, guys, before we take off to the range, before we go to work. Um, the PL Turbo, like I showed you earlier, you have to flip the back of this thing to get to the batteries and there's that little hinge. So push or pull up on that tab and then this whole back thing opens up. Double O-ring sealed, extraordinarily nice but this takes their proprietary batteries. The uh, smaller Valkyrie, which is another phenomenal light, it uses a magnetic charging base. So I just wanted to point that out because I showed you guys both lights just as a size comparison. Um, I just want you to be aware that one of them you can charge with a magnetic base. The other one does require their, um, uh, their CR1, 132 or 132 batteries. Just, uh, wanted to be as uh, transparent as I can. Magnetic recharging requires batteries. So no big deal. Just wanted to make sure that you guys got that. On to the range. All right, we are out here at the range. It's actually uh, four of these, uh, two over there, this one, and then one over there. We've got our 
SFX beta all loaded up. And I think what I'm going to try to do is, um, it's going to be hard with just me, myself and I here, but I'm going to try to do like a side profile shot like this. So you, A, you can watch the muzzle flip and, uh, that way we can also see if anything happens to the front of the flashlight. I highly suspect it will not. Uh, these are all reloads, uh, number five accurate at four and a half, 4.7 grains. I think I can't remember. I have it written down for those of you that reload 115 grain. So we've got a uh, little fire extinguisher out there. That's been annihilated and I probably am not going to hit it shooting one hand and trying to hold the phone at the same time. But again, the test is to see how the light reacts. So lights on here we go. Okay. You can see the light is on. There is our target right there. Let's see if I can get both of these in here. There we go. Well, and even looking down the long axis of it, focus, there is legitimately nothing. And you can see it that does stick out just a little farther than the barrel does. So I tell you what, I am ecstatic. It uh, is still on there really tight. Nothing has moved at all. Okay, impressions. Uh, I like Accurate 5. I just started using that, boy, it's nice. So we're clean and clear, safety's back, nothing's in the chamber. And there is not a lot, actually, I don't think there's any uh, residue or flash powder on that Olight at all anywhere. So uh, first test is a success. Uh, very impressive. We still have about an hour until sunset, but check this out. It sort of washes it out yellow-ish almost through the camera here, but it is really a nice white. But you can see we are still illuminating out there pretty dang good and the edge of that ravine is 185 yards out but we're not going to see so yeah, much the pl now. turbo even with it sticking out slightly past the barrel on this thing not a single issue at all somebody over there has got something really high caliber running but this light is absolutely fantastic there are a couple of um uh holster companies that make uh holsters for the canic with the pl turbo uh they're a little pricey they're around 150 bucks but you get to do some customization to them of which i will be ordering for this i never thought it would actually carry with a light but this um this pl turbo this thing is awesome the light weighs nothing and uh we'll wrap this up out here at the range because i have to get to work but we will do a really quick um light up down in the dungeon uh in the uh, storage facility down there and i suspect that's just going to illuminate the uh it's going to look like noon in there so i'm going to get all cleaned up out here and we'll see you guys at my lab here in just a little bit and as promised it is completely dark outside it is really dark down there here's the last part of the olight pl turbo yeah it's dark all right so here you can see we do get a very nice beam out of this and this is just down the stairwell here and we're going to open up into a fairly decent uh, cavernous area down here and we're getting a really good throw around the entire building and uh, all the records and stuff but I wish I could pull the phone back a little bit more it is really really bright so you do get looks like the the beam and the flood and again here's off and we're back on you are not going to have any problems illuminating anything with this no matter your location and again off those are the emergency lights there outside lights into the parking lot and we are back on so you can see that uh you are going to have a very good amount of light with this and then again through the exit right there well thanks for watching the review on the olight pl turbo valkyrie uh, i think it retails for just about 90 bucks on their site uh, free shipping over 49 dollars, i believe and 
I'm a big believer in their light, so there may be something else you like on the site. I get nothing for this. I get to keep the light. So I hope you guys found the uh, review at least enjoyable. Maybe you learned something. But um, yeah, service after the sale on Olight is impressive as well. Don't go anywhere else, guys. You won't regret it. We'll see you on the next one.